Welcome to the digital launch of Scotland's Year of Stories 2022 events programme. We hope this launch format will allow us to reach far and wide and we encourage you to share it. 2022 has been designated as a year in which stories inspired by, created or written in Scotland will be showcased and celebrated with a programme of activity designed to support the nation's tourism and events sectors, playing an important part in post-COVID recovery. Themed years give Scottish tourism an edge. They galvanise partners and create a strong collaborative platform to promote Scotland and its valuable attributes. Stories are so important to how we see ourselves and how others see us. In 2022, all forms of stories will be celebrated across five exciting themes. Iconic stories and storytellers, new stories, our people and places, local tales and legends, and stories inspired by nature. We've seen so much enthusiasm from partners to engage with the year, in particular from those in the event sector as demonstrated by the amazing response to our events funding programmes, which were extremely competitive. So we're delighted to introduce a flavour of the funded events programme for the year ahead, made up of a fantastic array of larger as well as community-focused events that will take place right across Scotland in 2022. As part of this launch film, we will also hear from Jenny Gilroot, MSP, Minister for Culture, Europe and International Development, who will tell us why theme years are so important and how the theme of stories, and storytelling in particular, resonates so well across Scotland's communities. Mary Christie, Head of Development in our Events Directorate, will outline the funded events programme and highlight just some of the many Year of Stories events that we can look forward to. We're delighted this year's programme works with a wide range of organisations, from national agencies to community groups, to ensure our events programme reaches across the whole of Scotland. The year will celebrate stories in all their forms, and later we'll hear from Scotland's very own maker, Kathleen Jamie. We look forward to highlighting many voices across many forms of storytelling throughout the year, and it's great to start this with Scotland's national poet. Finally, we're delighted to premiere our Year of Stories promotional video, featuring locations, attractions and experiences across Scotland, all which bring our five themes to life. We are honoured that the wonderful storyteller, James Cosmo, known for his roles across stage and screen, has voiced this for us. This video is an important tool to promote the year, and again, we hope you will share it across your own networks. We're excited to reveal our events programme for the year and hope that there is plenty that excites you too. From joining our partner events programme to using our official campaign hashtags, there are countless ways to get involved in supporting the Year of Stories. And we hope you'll join us in 2022. Get involved in the events programme and tell your own Tales of Scotland. Scotland's Year of Stories provides an opportunity to promote and celebrate our culture of storytelling in Scotland. As a former teacher myself, I know how important the power of storytelling can be in capturing the attention and engagement of young people. Scotland's Year of Stories will support, it will celebrate and promote the wealth of stories inspired by, written or created in communities right across Scotland. The enthusiasm for the year has been really encouraging after a tough two years for all of us. Our culture, tourism and event sectors have been hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Scotland's Year of Stories provides a great platform to not only help the sector recover, but also to enable businesses and communities to proudly tell the story of what makes Scotland so unique and special. I'm really pleased that we have such a great programme of events covering the length and breadth of Scotland. Scotland has many iconic stories and storytellers, and we want to share those stories with the world. Just look at the outside walls of the Scottish Parliament, full of the words and wisdom of many of Scotland's best storytellers, reminding politicians of all parties of the importance of our work in here and our responsibilities to the people who elected us. 
as Edwin Morgan wrote when this building opened back in 2004, we give you our consent to govern, don't pocket it and ride away. We give you our deepest, dearest wish to govern well, don't say we have no mandate to be so bold. But it is equally important to give space to the voices of new Scottish storytellers in all forms, as well as those untold stories that I'm confident we will uncover during the year. Scotland's people and communities are one of our greatest strengths and I want there to be a chance for every community to get involved, to share their stories, some that have been passed down through the generations and others that are still being written today and will continue to be into the future. Sharing in this brings communities together, it celebrates our differences and also reminds us of what we all have in common. COP26 demonstrated Scotland's commitment to nature and stories that connect us to our environment, to our country's rivers and seas, our woods, our hills and our wildlife. The next year will help both locals and visitors alike to appreciate what we have, often on our own doorsteps. Stories that connect us to the natural world can also help to create a more sustainable future for Scotland and a greener planet for us all. I look forward to being able to attend and to hear stories from the many events we're supporting throughout 2022 and encourage everyone to look out for their local events and to get involved and to tell your story. Thank you. A vibrant events programme is at the heart of Scotland's theme years. Events animate our places and spaces, create opportunities for engagement, participation and celebration. And in 2022, they will share stories old and new. Today, we are excited to announce just some of the funded events that are in plan. It's a huge, wonderful and varied programme and we hope it will capture the imagination and present some of Scotland's stories in all their forms and in all their diversity in engaging and exciting ways. Across the programme you'll find a mixture of brand new and one-off events as well as specially commissioned programme strands within some of our most loved annual festivals. There are hundreds of partners involved in preparation for the year from national to community organisations. Across the programme, you'll find iconic stories and storytellers, tales of our people, places and legends, and stories inspired by nature. Taking us across the year, here's just a flavour of what's in store. In January, Glasgow's Celtic Connections brings us Whisper the Song, a series of five new commissioned events celebrating Scotland's rich tradition of stories interwoven with music, song and film. Focusing on Scotland as a new homeland, of tales of the gales, the impact of our people across the world, stories to save our world and a celebration to mark 550 years since Shetland became part of Scotland. Also kicking off in January with its burn celebrations is Once Upon a Time in South Ayrshire, a varied programme of events, exhibitions and experiences that will run across the year, chapter by chapter. In February, Spectra, Scotland's Festival of Light, presents Writ Large, celebrating the humour, seriousness and sheer gallus of Scotland's storytellers with some of the country's finest contemporary prose and poetry featuring in large-scale projections and neons that will transform Aberdeen. In March, in St Andrews, Stanza, Scotland's International Poetry Festival, presents Stories Like Starting Points, exploring the role of stories in poetry and including a brand new Young Mackers Poetry Initiative. Moving into spring, Starting in April and running through the year, Stornoways and Lantar presents a series of events, films and special commissions celebrating tales from the Hebrides, both real and imagined, modern and ancient. Across May to September, Edinburgh, Ben Moore, Logan and Doig Botanic Gardens will host Of Scotland's Soils and Soul. It'll be a multi-sensory journey celebrating stories inspired by Scotland's rich and diverse plant life from the rushes of Sunset Song to the real and imagined plants in Harry Potter. Also kicking off in May and running until December, the Scottish Storytelling Centre and Edinburgh UNESCO City of Literature Trust present Figures of Speech, with prominent and emerging figures responding to our iconic stories and imagining them fresh, sparking new dialogues and directions. In June, Borders Book Festival returns to Melrose with a special programme celebrating and exploring tales with themes from 
Walter Scott to the Great Tapestry of Scotland. Also in June and running until September is the Wire Woman Project as part of Perth and Conross Year of Stories. Throughout the year, community groups, creatives and cultural organisations will tell the stories of women from across the region, all connected through objects in the collections of the new City Hall Museum. These amazing tales, from the Jacobites to the modern day, will conclude in a trail across Perth with fantastic life-size wire women sculptures. And from sculptures to the big screen as we move into summer, in their 75th anniversary year, we are working with Edinburgh International Film Festival to bring Scotland's stories on screen to iconic and exciting places and spaces. July brings the Dundee Summer Bash Street Festival, which will leave no one in doubt that Dundee is the home of comics, celebrating our characters, stories, history and upcoming talent. We'll proudly proclaim the city to be Beano Town with a pop-up comic museum, workshops, talks, and film screening, street fun, and world record attempts. In August, our world-renowned Edinburgh International Book Festival presents Scotland Stories Now, which will see people of all ages and from all backgrounds across the country creating and telling stories about Scotland today, proving that everyone has a story to tell. Stories will be gathered from communities throughout 2022 and will be shared in a flagship event series during the festival. Also in August in Sky, Shal and Gaelic singer Anne Martin lead Anthinia, a collection of songs, stories and objects from across the centuries exploring the connection between Scotland and Australia. In September, Murray's Findhorn Bay Festival will offer a journey of exploration and discovery, celebrating the area's heritage, landscape and people. Also in September, the Wigtown Book Festival in Scotland's national book town will present two new commissions, Into the Nicht, an immersive dark skies tour that finds inspiration in our unspoilt skies, and Walter in Wonderland, a whirlwind theatrical tour through the history of the nation's literature. Following that, head up to Northern Stories Festival led by Life Arts Centre in Keith Ness, it promises a spectacular celebration of the stories of the far north. From the Orkney Inga saga to Neil Gunn, the festival will bring to life the often forgotten tales of Scotland's rugged northern coast. As the nights draw in across October to the end of the year, the programme keeps coming. Transgressive North brings us Map of Stories in partnership with our International Storytelling Festival. Film Cayley events will celebrate the most iconic voices from Scotland's oral storytelling traditions, whilst drawing upon the magic of cinema to invoke the places and the landscapes from which they emerge. Stirling Castle plays host to Tales from the Castle, an after-hours event that opens the gates to extraordinary stories and takes you on a journey through language and time. Scotland Stories Community Campfires, led by Scottish Book Trust, will take place across the country, engaging with communities and showcasing people's tales from their own lives, featuring Luke Winter's Story Wagon and culminating at Book Week Scotland in November. There are also a number of events that will take place across the year, touring the country. The RSNO brings us Yo-Yo and the Little Og, a new story celebrating our diverse cultures for early years audiences with an animated film and live performances at events and festivals across Scotland. Songs from the last page from Chamber Music Scotland will take place at book festivals, libraries and community spaces and will create new songs from the last lines of our great and favourite fiction, turning endings into beginnings. Talking of new beginnings, for 2022 we're delighted to present a brand new events programme strand. The Community Stories Fund has been designed to support organisations and community groups to take part in and celebrate the year, spotlighting the unique stories that matter to them with new creative events, activities and programming. The fund is being delivered in partnership between Visit Scotland and Museums Galleries Scotland with support from National Lottery Heritage Fund. Thank you, National Lottery players. Around 100 events will be supported through this fund, but to give you a flavour, in the West, 
the Scottish Football Museum will present Striking Herstories, a brand new trail at Europe's first national football museum that will shine a spotlight on the fascinating story of women's football in Scotland. In the East, Deaf Action present Preserving and Celebrating Edinburgh's Deaf Heritage as part of their new Deaf Festival, including a series of new film clips that capture their relationship with the Deaf community. In the South, the Whithorn Trust presents Gossip from the Graveyard, a creative writing competition where the public will be challenged to imagine the stories of two real medieval people reconstructed by scientists. And in the North, the Highland Museum of Childhood will present Sharing Stories, offering local audiences of all generations the chance to connect and share their stories of growing up in the Highlands. In addition to the directly funded programme of events, we'll be working with the widest range of partners to showcase and promote the full gamut of events and activities that celebrate Scotland's many and diverse stories across 2022. From the 75th anniversary of our world festival city to wonderful stories from our National Theatre of Scotland and the ambitious programme coming to Scotland as part of Unboxed, a UK-wide celebration of creativity and innovation. 2022 is going to be a year in which stories are shared and created on a huge scale. We hope you can join us and be part of Scotland's story in 2022. Next, we are honoured to hear from Scotland's new macker, Kathleen Jamie, telling us about just one of the storytelling forms, poetry, and its importance to Scotland. Hello, I'm Kathleen Jamie. I'm the macker, that is to say, Scotland's national poet, and I'm standing here in our poetry library. I don't know how many countries have a dedicated poetry library, but I think not very many. And it speaks to the fact that poetry is a, an integral part of our national culture and has been for an extremely long time. Poetry is of all the people, you know, the humble working class people, Robert Burns is the great example, to the, to the kings in the court. My job as Macker is to encourage poetry, but you know, frankly, I don't think it needs much encouraging. It's, it's, it's as strong now as it ever was, possibly more so. During our researches here, it reinforced to me the, the centrality of poetry in Scottish culture and the diversity of expression and, and the, the strengths of, of our, our tradition. For example, the ballads, the great late medieval ballads, which are surely Scotland's gift to world literature, with their tales of murder and adultery and battles and, and speaking birds and ghosts, you know. Oh, I just love them. So here, here in the Royal Mile, we actually have poems <coughs> and verses of poems and quotations carved into the, into the living stone. At the bottom of the Royal Mile, we have the Scottish Parliament building. On the wall, which flanks the street, we have quotations from many almost contemporary poets, and they're, they're inscribed on stones from different parts of the country. From the Macker's Court at the top of the street to our statue here of, of poor Robert Ferguson, who died when he was only 24 and he is buried there in the Canning Gate Kirk. Ferguson's gravestone was um, funded by Robert Burns, who called Ferguson my elder brother in the muse. And Robert Ferguson was a lively, engaged, fluent Scots speaker who wrote about his native Edinburgh in a, in a, in a ribald and, and fun and engaging way. And I often wonder, if we had no Ferguson, would we have had Robert Burns? I think Ferguson enabled Burns. As a working poet, and now national poet, it's very, it's very validating to have poetry and poems inscribed in the very stones of a capital city. And also to have poems and poetry inscribed in the Parliament building, just keeping an eye on it, you know? Keeping a watchful eye on the parliamentarians and reminding them that the folk have a voice. I look forward to poetry maintaining its central role in Scottish culture as we embark on Scotland's Year of Stories. Scotland, a land of stories whispered on the wind, carried by the waves that crash on the shore. City lights, country roads, misty mornings by the coast. Each photograph is a poem 
Each journey, a diary of Scotland as we alone have seen it. There is no friend as loyal as a book or a song, and with every friendly face you meet, a new tale to be told, a new wonder to behold, a chance to be bold, to tread lightly and protect this place for future stories to come. So gather round and listen in. It's time for this story to begin. 2022 is Scotland's year of stories. Come and discover your own tale of Scotland. <laughs>